Hello Virgo and welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This is a work and career reading for Virgo for the 6th of August to the 20th of August 2018. I put the decks I'm using down in the description box and if you'd like a personal video reading the details are also in the description box. So please take the time to like, share, subscribe and leave me a message if this video resonates with you. I'm starting off with the Angels of Abundance. I have shuffled this deck. I'm just going to draw two cards just to tell us what the angels think about the situation. And the first one is Dreams of Abundance and they say, as you sleep, God and your angels and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a personal journal because they will contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your de desires into reality. So you're having very, very enlightening dreams at this particular moment and you need to actually record these dreams. The second card is block out distractions. Your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time for you to take charge of the schedule and working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what is important. You already know what these distractions are and you have the power to block them out. So you need to focus by blocking out distractions. So you're having dreams of abundance and you need to block out any kind of distractions so that you can focus on your life's purpose. So I'm going to just draw some cards for the general energy read. And then um, we'll do the general tarot read after that. So you've got some decisions coming up that you need to make and you are recovering from a loss uh, recently. You're really worried and very anxious as well um, regarding maybe this loss that happened. Maybe you're anxious and worried about a decision that you have to make uh, at present. In the past you've got taxes, conflict and competition. So uh, you probably had to pay your taxes and that has brought obviously brought some uh, kind of worry as well. Uh, there's been a lot of conflict and competition in your environment as well. So you've been, maybe that has caused this worry and anxiety that you are facing at the moment. So going into the future, you've got a new business venture and you need to be flexible and adaptable in order to cope or bring in this new business venture that is coming in. So a decision may be regarding a new business venture and um, you have to be really adaptable. So change your ideas and plans to suit the needs of, of your clients or customers and you have to make decisions involved around there. So you are recovery from your loss but a lot of anxiety being associated with this new uh, venture that you want to undertake and there has been a lot of conflict in your environment in the past, the recent past. So I'm just going to use the Bright Idea deck. I have shuffled this deck and I'm going to just cut these cards. Okay. So, uh, in your environment, you've got the three, um, which is expression, which is saying that whatever work you're doing is very artistic at this particular moment, and you're, um, although it's whatever you're doing is mass-produced, you are putting your own individual stamp on it, and you're producing something really beautiful from it. Uh, you're spending a lot of time, you're focusing, and it is going to be, and it is bringing in money for you, because you've got um, the sign of Gocha, which is Capricorn, which is the sign of money. So you are building a little empire over there by doing whatever you're doing. And you're doing it, it might seem like you're doing the same thing over and over again, but you're adding a little bit of extra to it. So you're not creating the same thing over and over again. Whatever you're giving to your customer or client or person, whoever you're working for is added. It's something extra and it's beautiful and it's expressive and um, it's going to bring in a lot of rewards and you're working very, very hard, very focused and you are getting some, um, you will get a lot of recognition and acclaim for whatever you're doing. So people are recognizing that you're doing a very, very good job at what you're doing and they're very impressed with what you are doing. And it is generating money as well. So the main situation is that there's a confrontation 
conflict uh, in the workplace. Uh, you have produced some sort of idea uh, that you um, have been working on very, very hard and you are hoping that this brings in abundance and you want to release it. Uh, for some reason or the other, it's caused some sort of rivalry or con con crisis um, to go on uh, within your work situation and you and somebody else are having some sort of conflict. And it might be over this new idea that you have, uh, this new project that you have been working so hard on. Uh, in the past uh, year, you have been living, uh, you know, you've been preserving your money a lot, uh, keeping hold of the things, uh, maybe keeping hold of this job because it's offered some security. You have been um, tightened your belt so that you're not spending a lot of money and you're, you're living quite frugally at this particular moment. Uh, there is somebody there that helps you, who gives you advice and guidance on how to do things, um, but you are also, you know, you're, you're making sure that you are saving whatever you can save. And, you know, um, also, you know, you might have a, a set of ideas that you're hanging on to so that you don't, um, you know, you're not changing a lot of your attitudes about things as well. So uh, maybe this person is trying to persuade you as well to, you know, uh, change the way you look at things, especially, I suppose, if you want to start a new business venture, you're going to have to change your ideas and plans and not hang into the, the past, the old uh, in the last three months, there's an evaluation coming up. People are looking at your work. They are quite impressed, and uh, you're drawing like crowds of people who are impressed with what you do. So whatever creative project, whatever project you are doing, you, you are being evaluated for it, and people are admiring uh, what work you are doing. So on your mind, you're hoping for some sort of partnership to come in uh, so that you can... Um, progress. So maybe you are going into a new business venture and maybe you want to partner off with somebody so that you can do, both of you can do things together uh, and achieve something that is going to be a success. Maybe this new project over here, maybe it was rejected by the people that you were working with and it caused a lot of disharmony there and maybe you want to take this, this particular idea and go somewhere else. And it looks like that you do want to because you're very unsatisfied or dissatisfied with your job you really do want to just walk out of it. And this might be something, maybe this conflict here will lead to you actually walking away from that particular job that you are in because you are so unhappy with it. So whatever you're doing now is something that you're very talented at. It is something that you have aptitude for. It is something very beautiful and it is very artistically based and it is something that you can do really, really well and it makes a lot of people happy uh, whatever you're doing. Um, around you, uh, people think that you, you know, maybe you're allowing your doubts and fears to take charge. They see that you do have solutions to problems. You need to stamp out any doubts and fears. You have the key of the solution. Maybe this project that you have is the key, the solution to get you out of any kind of uh, um, problems that you're having. Uh, this person is wearing this ma uh, this helmet kind of thing, and the, and the key is being given to him. So maybe you need to change your old attitudes about things and your own your old ideas about things in order for you to move forward. Uh, you have a lot of doubts, um, and you are stuck in maybe an old way of thinking. And with this uh, helmet on this man's head, it seems like he is stuck in, in an old way of thinking. But there is a solution to it, and you need to see that solution, change your perspective to get out of it. Um, you might actually need to, act to get some advice from somebody who is an expert, um, and maybe they will give you an, a different perspective of things um, in order for you to, to move forward. See, this man is walking up the stairs, but he could have been taking the lift over there. So maybe you need to look for a different solution to your problem in order to get out of it. And you will need to have some sort of guidance, some sort of person who is an expert to give you that um, idea. So going into the future, there's teamwork, achievement, and synthesis. So you will be working in a team and this team will be really uh, good at doing things efficiently. They are all working very hard and they are getting the product out. So you will be working in the team and with that team, you and your team will be able to reach um, your goals. You will achieve whatever you need to, to achieve. So whatever teamwork you are going to be involved in is going to produce a lot of results and probably a lot of accolades for you. Um, and that will mean that you will have to balance yourself, put in a lot of hard work, pay attention to the finer details, and just keep going. And, you know, make sure that you are using the right tools for the right job and doing everything 
uh, with balance. So this is the card of balance and you need to be, pay attention to the finer details as well. So you will be working with a team and there are, is a lot of um, achievement and recognition coming along with that. Um, you're planning on uh, going, uh, leaving this particular post or particular job. Uh, maybe you've been offered something else. Uh, maybe um, somewhere, uh, something else that involves you working with the team uh, because there's been so much of conflict in the workplace that you are at. And maybe you're going to take your idea and go and present it to somebody else, a new team, a, a new partnership. So maybe you are planning on leaving this job for another job um, and, uh, you know, with somebody else in another company. Um, and it's going to mean that you're going to be working with a teamwork, a lot of hard work, but a lot of success coming as well. So I'm just going to use uh, the Angel Tarot to just get a uh, some answers, really. So it says the Queen of Water, which says um, relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition, care for yourself and others. So it seems like that you you will have some sort of partnership that comes in, some sort of relationship, some sort of business relationship coming in, and it takes you to a new level. Uh, but it also says you must trust your intuition. And the, the second one is the seven of water, a complex decision, the need to research, stop procrastinating. So you need to do some research into uh, what it is uh, going into this new job or this new company or working in this new business partnership that you're going to do you have to make a decision it's going to be a complex decision research before you actually make the move and don't procrastinate so don't sit there sit back and let everything come to you they it won't you need to be a person of action and the last one is the six of air which says things are looking up the end of a difficult situation making a trip so it looks like you will move out of the situation into something better you will move out of it, and it seems that things will look up for you, um, and you will be out of this difficult situation. So whatever the conflict is, it seems like you will walk away from it, and you will. the new position that you have is going to be one that involves working with a team, and a lot of success coming in with working with a team, but a lot of hard work, um, and having to use all your skills necessary. So don't forget to watch out for the uh, finer details. Don't have any doubt. You need to, you need to change uh, your perspective a little bit on how you look at things. Um, and, you know, to get some new insights, uh, you will have to change your perspective to move away from the old and move into the new. Whatever you're going to be doing is going to be something that you're really good at. So you have aptitude for it. Um, and, uh, you know, people will appreciate the fact that you're quite good at what you do. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe if it hasn't. And leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.